Hey guys, Crew Neil here. So I actually wanted to talk about a recent documentary I saw. I don't know if you guys, if you guys have Netflix, there is a documentary that just got released of Jake Paul. It's called The Problem Child. Let me tell you, I was really, really impressed by not only the quality of it, the entertainment value of it, but just also the informative info that I got from it. It was shot so well. Uh, and my girlfriend is actually a producer, so she definitely agrees with me. It was shot so well. So they did a great job. But anyways, um, it was a really cool insight to the story of Logan Paul and Jake Paul and how they kind of came about um, and how they made a name for themselves on YouTube as being, you know, influencers and YouTubers and whatnot. And man, I definitely have a lot more respect for them because those are some smart guys right there. I love that documentary too because it shows how when you do things different, right? You don't go the, the normal approach. Like for example, it was about boxing. Jake Paul jumps on the, the boxing scene and everyone's like, oh, you don't do that, you know? And people really disregarded Jake Paul and they would say things like, oh, that wasn't a quality opponent. Oh, put a real fighter, you know, put a real professional fighter in there. So they did, they put a, a UFC uh, veteran who was mainly known for grappling Right, but had never been knocked out. And guess what happens? He gets knocked out. You know, Jake Paul proves the critics wrong. Then they put in another opponent. I mean, he's literally knocked out and knocked down some big name fighters um, as he's had this short, you know, career path. And I, I was telling my students the other day, like, people think just because you're a professional fighter, you can't be beat. And that's not true. Anyone can be beat on any given day, you know, and a lot of people think, oh, talent will always win. Not necessarily. Talent can get beat by just sheer hard work. You know, sometimes people with talent oh, oh, um, underestimate certain opponents. So they don't train as hard. They just don't, oh, I got more experience. Uh, I know I myself have lost to people I should have um, won, but because I took them lightly, um, I lost. It was a great learning lesson, you know, and it just, it was such a cool story of Jake Paul and how he portrayed, you know, all his fights and how he kind of prepared mentally. I mean, a lot of people could not endure the type of torment and the type of um, bad publicity and, and how people just hating on him, like through Instagram, social media platforms, people in interviews, people doing vlogs on him. It was, it was crazy. So definitely a lot of respect for him. My hat definitely... Um, tips off to him for that but guys if you've never seen that um documentary definitely check it out you'll get a different insight on the mind and how he and his brother logan paul how they have such mental toughness and that's um what's allowed them to endure the craziness of this fight game again the i would say the lesson from this video would definitely be never judge a book by its cover you've got to respect every opponent like they are world champion because at the end of the day, the person that wins the fight is the person that works the hardest and the person that has the stronger mental uh, state. And ultimately, that's who will win the fight. But anyways, guys, um, definitely check out that that video, guys. It's on Netflix right now. It's called The Problem Child. Um, so good. Five stars for sure. But anyways, stay tuned for another video and we will see you guys soon. Take care.